We have a 2003 Ford 3-liter dual overhead cam. We're going to go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the cooling system flushed and drained, we'll disconnect the negative battery cable before beginning the repair. Disconnect the emissions tube and remove the water pump drive belt. Before starting your repair, you always wanna be sure you're working with a cool engine. Disconnect the upper and lower radiator hose from the thermostat housing. Disconnect the thermostat housing from the water pump. Disconnect the bypass hose and lower heater hose. Remove the three bolts holding the water pump housing to the block. And remove the housing from the vehicle. Separate the water pump from the housing and lightly clean the gasket surface. Apply a light coat of sealant to the water pump face. Install the gasket and apply a light coat of sealant to the housing. Install the water pump into the housing and torque the bolts to 89 inch pounds. Clean the three mounting surfaces on the pump and block. As you lower the pump into place, work the hoses into location. Install the three mounting bolts, torquing to 89 inch pounds. Install the water pump drive belt. Fully install the water pump to thermostat housing hose and install the bypass hose. Reinstall the lower and upper radiator hoses. Reattach the lower heater hose. Reconnect the emissions tube. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. Fill the system with a 50-50 blend of coolant and distilled water. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Start the vehicle and turn the cabin heater on high. This will help bleed the air out of the system. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Top the recovery tank off to manufacturer spec. 